Thou shalt not go up, but fetch a compass behind them and come upon them over against the mulberry trees and let it be when thou hearest the sound of a going to the tops of the mulberry trees that then thou shalt bestir thyself. For then shall the Lord go out before thee to smite the host of the Philistines. And David did so as the Lord had commanded and smote the Philistines unto Geba until thou come to Gezer. Now, Lord, you walk up and let no man know what your left hand and your right hand doth. Nobody knew that. I would have never told nobody about that. This prophet back here smelled it on him. He said, your mantle was all on him. I, could... I said, I don't believe that. I do because I know and you do too. So that takes you the next to the ray down the road. What would happen if you said, you know, I want that $5,000 stereo system. How? I want to give it. <laughs> you may get in your box. I want that land. I'd like to have that land. What would happen if you bought a man of God some land? And them talking to you. So it's like it's open in here right now. Don't nobody even know who's going out to, but it's going. What would happen if you said, uh, Honey, I know I want that land, but I don't have enough money to get that land. I'm going to give it to that prophet. Get ready. You do. Before I leave here, you want to kill me. Because <laughs> I'm going to get filled up. When I leave here, I'm going to be filled. And the enemy's going to come frustrate you. But until you start seeing it, it's a miracle. Somehow God's going to bring you around. There's no way we could have got that entertainment system like what we wanted. But we did what God wanted us to do. And look what the Lord has done for us. He not only has blessed us, he's blessed. And so we said, oh, you're taking money out of the church. No, I'm not. I'm producing money. See, we go down to Egypt and borrow. And he said, that's against my scriptures because I said, I make you the lender and not the borrower. Amen. Hello, borrowers. You, you see, this is, this is hard, isn't it? Because I'm not jumping on your head and prophesying like a rooster. Pecking you on the brain and telling you what's there. But I'm telling you right now, there are some people in here, you're about to be blessed financially beyond your wildest dreams because you see what I'm talking about. They called me later and said, well, it's been two weeks. We don't have no complications. No blood passing from my body anymore. I'm healed. Here's some boy coming. She said, what about the buck teeth? Is there anything we can do? <laughs> you understand that after a while, people are trying to commit to you now. But then they become friendly with you, and they, and they, and they, they put their self on a pay scale. They put their selves on a pay scale. And so what they give back to you, like friendly comments, like praise the Lord, hallelujah, that's what they take back. I like that guy. Thank you for your likes. But I want you to be blessed. Yes. 